the old school. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. This is Eric and today we got to talk about the J.D. Davis situation. J.D. who you saw crushed that opposite field home run. I was glad to see that in spring training. I'm back now from spring training. Picked up a bug down there. I've been sick for about three or four days. I think I might be starting to get over it now but I'm not sure. It, it messed me up pretty bad. But there's bigger news right here to talk about, and that is this situation right here with J.D. Davis. So J.D., going into the season, looked like he was going to be pretty much our starting third baseman. He's been solid for the Giants, had a tough second half last year, but he's got good power, plays good enough defense. I mean, he's not elite. He's not gold glove caliber like Matt Chapman, but he's going to give you some power, and it's just solid. And I've really been happy with his performance since we picked him up from the Mets a couple years back. But now that the Giants picked up Matt Chapman, they've decided... They ain't no room for J.D. Davis, and they placed him on waivers, and this has some more layers than just that because apparently the new CBA allows for a team to not have to pay what would normally be a guaranteed contract if they won in arbitration, and the Giants are trying to use that loophole right here to maybe not have to pay his full salary, so trying to save some money and get rid of a player who they think is not needed. Personally, I think that the more talent, the better. I don't care if you look at the depth chart and you can't find a, a starting position for every single player. There's always going to be a place. There's always going to be injuries. There's always going to be a situation where you can use that extra guy. And even if you have to fight for the better, the best man plays, okay. Even if Matt Chapman has to be on the bench occasionally. I mean, the best man is going to play. Send them all out there. The more talent, the better. That's the way I see it. But obviously, I'm not running the team and I know they got their financials to worry about. And obviously, with this move... They think that J.D. Davis is a, a non-necessity at this point and that uh, he's not going to be a part of this team moving forward uh, the way that it sounds. But with the Chapman addition, J.D. Davis has been placed on waivers as they couldn't find a suitable trade uh, for Davis. And he has been out of the lineup since March 4th. Bob Melvin said there's some stuff going on right now. That's why he hasn't played, obviously. We'll see how it turns out in the next day or two. But Davis, we're waiting to see if he gets claimed by another organization who would have to pay him his full salary. But if not, what's going to happen then? It's going to be very interesting. We have Ch Matt Chapman now. We have Casey Schmidt. We have Flores. Obviously, we have Wade Jr. who's going to be playing quite a bit of first base. Flores can be uh, kind of a guy who can go around the first base, third base, wherever. And then Tyler Fitzgerald's trying to make the team. We have Marco Luciano there in the mix. David Villar. I'm not so sure David Villar is going to be a, a big factor the way he's played lately, but we'll see. But a lot of names, obviously. I don't mind that. The more, the better. The more, the better, especially when they're MLB caliber players like J.D. Davis. And he's already here. You make a move like this, what happens if Matt Chapman ends up getting hurt, J.D. Davis signs somewhere else, some other team picks him up or whatever, and he ends up raking over there, and he stays healthy, then we look like a bunch of idiots, but I continue. When Chapman signed, Davis told reporters in Scottsdale he didn't want to talk too much about the situation. Good move on his part. He wanted to do what's best for the team. The Giants have determined this is their best path forward, and it's likely the best move for Davis, too. The 30-year-old will be a free agent after the season and now may get a chance for much more playing time elsewhere and like i said if the giants do end up getting rid of him they might be able to save a whole bunch of money i believe they only have to pay him a small prorated portion of the the salary that would normally be guaranteed but if we just look at statistically between these two players here's jd here's matt chapman now when you look at the war matt chapman last year 4.4 war he played more games he had more at bats 509 at bats played that gold glove caliber defense J.D. Davis in 480 at-bats is only given a .9 war. But when you look at the offense, pretty comparable. 18 home runs for Davis, 17 for Chapman. 240 average for Chapman, 248 for Davis. 61 runs, 66 runs. 54 RBIs, 69 RBIs. J.D. Davis, a lot more RBIs. One steal here, four steals here. Neither of them are stealing many bases. On base percentage, 330, 325. As far as I can tell, they're going to bring similar production offensively. But you get that huge bump in the defense, which is obviously it counts for a lot. That's where a lot of that war is coming from. So between the two, I can understand why you would prefer Matt Chapman. Both of them are 30 years old, around the same age, almost exactly the same age. April 27th, 93. April 28th, 93. Holy crap. 
they're one day apart. So they're the exact same age and uh, the exact same offensively. I don't mind having J.D. Davis still on this team as a backup or someone who can get plug and play here and there, play a little outfield, play a little third, play a little short, play a little first, play a little DH. And you find a way to get him in the lineup as much as possible, but at least you have more big league talent there, better depth, I, I mean, I, I would think. But I get it why they're trying to save a little money. I understand that. But uh, I just think it's kind of messed up the way the whole thing's going down and that J.D. Davis – First doesn't get you know you don't pay him what he what he probably deserves he wins an arbitration and you get rid of him like this uh, it just doesn't bode well I think for a good team chemistry or whatever and just showing that the front offices you know I, I know it's a business as we saw with Brandon Crawford I, I totally agree with not bringing Brandon Crawford back you can't just bring him back forever at some point you gotta say you know sorry right you can't bring him back forever and I think that point had come to say sorry but. Um, in this situation, it just feels kind of messed up, but um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how things go. But like I said, Matt Chapman ends up getting hurt or something or has a terrible year. Could look really stupid right here, especially if J.D. Davis goes somewhere else and, and, and is really productive for them. So we'll see how it goes. But let me know what you guys think about this. Really sad to see this because I was excited for J.D. Davis and, and excited to see what he could do this year. It's not technically over yet. Could, Something could happen, I guess. He could still end up being here, but it doesn't look likely. It looks like the Giants are moving on from J.D. Davis. Let me know what you guys think down below. Talk to you next time.